What's up? My name is NoJ456, and this is the Fortnite Real Life Challenge. Today, we're making and assembling a real life Fortnite Flamingo pickaxe. I want everybody, before you go a second farther in this video, to check out the Raygun Project. His channel is linked down below. He is the original maker of these. He sent me all these beautiful parts you see before you to actually make and assemble this, and then I do a terrible job of it in this first place. So if you want to see the real video, link is in the description. Please go check it out and subscribe to that man because he is an absolute legend. Without further ado, let's flamingo some stuff up. So welcome everybody to the actual part where we're building this thing. Uh, we have this gigantic box of parts that the Reagan Project sent me. And then we've got this rod right here, which is going to be the base of our flamingo pickaxe. I'm really excited for this. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the actual build. So I guess first, let's go ahead and uh, open up this box and see what all we got. We got some nice packing tape. Uh, we've got, I'm not sure what these are going to be used for. We're going to kind of follow along with his build video here. But uh, we've got we've got a little I don't basis of something here. Uh, we've got we've got the two parts that are going to kind of go down the pickaxe itself. We've got of course the hose that is going to wrap around. I think this is going to be one of the harder parts to actually do it. Uh, we'll put that over here, uh, dude. Oh, wait! I didn't know he was sending something like this. Hold on, bro. I think this is a 3D printed logo. That's so sick. Dude, hey, Raygun Project, thank you. I actually, had, this box has been sitting here. I've been waiting to record this video. I had no idea he said that. I'm going to put this up on my shelf. That's actually awesome. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the two flamingo parts. Thankfully, he already colored them and everything like that. Let's go ahead and unsheathe this plastic here. So here we've got one and two. Dude, I th these things smell like a basketball court. Which isn't a bad thing, because I actually like the... This is like a weird thing to say, but I actually like the smell of basketball courts. I don't know if that's that's strange, but these things these things are awesome, dude. Boom. They're little friends. And then last but not least, we have this part right here, which is going to help in the build. So I believe that is everything. Let's go ahead and start putting it together. Okay, so after watching his video, it looks like he's done most of the hard stuff for me. He's already attached this, colored this, and done everything like that. So we're gonna be we're gonna be tasked with a very very simple task of not messing this up. Attaching this piece to this piece, and then we're gonna be attaching this piece to the other the other little swirly piece we have, and then we're attaching them both together, and then putting it on the actual rod. So we're gonna hopefully not mess that up. Here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna go ahead and take these little secures. I don't know what else to call them here. And we gotta jam them in there. Oh, that actually, oh, that feels nice and snug. All right, we're gonna get that. And we gotta do one more. That's insane how precise that 3D printer can go. I assume, I mean, I think it's 3D printed. That's all, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what else can be. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna insert it into there. But before we do that, we're gonna take our gorilla. That was my gorilla noise. And we're gonna go ahead and lather it all around. So when we secure these, not only are the, uh, the what's it called? These things gonna hold it in place, but the glue is as well. So without further ado, wow, that just inserted right in there. Okay, so now I just have to hold it like this until it dries. <laughs> all right so i think that one is secure i actually shoved it over here in between some uh some lacroix cans so uh that should be drying in place and in the meantime while that's going on let's go ahead and get the next one all in here and secured i'm a little nervous because in his video it seemed to be the opposite like these were the easy these were the easy ones to go in and this was the hard one to go in like you had to you had to really maneuver it in there so i don't think it's the biggest deal in the entire world um because as long i mean the super glue is going to be doing most of the work this is just kind of like so whenever you put it in there it can't it can't rock back and forth as much um so i think it's gonna be okay uh i, I was thinking about putting a little dot of super glue on top he didn't do that actually he didn't do that he's the expert here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go against the master's ways so you're gonna do the same thing a little figure eight in there wrap it back around there we go. Looks good. You guys can't see anything. This is not the kind of setup that is meant to be on micro scale here. Let's push it in there. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, shh. Shh. It's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. <laughs> okay. So while both of those are drying, you can see them both sitting down here. 
Um, we are going to go ahead and work on this. Uh, I, th I think this one should be pretty easy as well. I'm pretty sure it's just as simple as pushing it here to the end. This is the, this is the base of it. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get up in there with quite a load of super glue around the sides. All that good stuff. Put a little bit on that base. I don't know. This might be overkill. I'm not really completely sure. So, uh, it's, it seems like it fits in there pretty well. So this is going to orient the pickaxe so we need to kind of base everything you see how it has like the flat part here and the normal part so we're going to use this to orient the rest of it uh, maybe i should have done this last but i'm trying to maximize the drying time here so i can get this video edited and ready to go for you guys i'm literally leaving for uh the wedding tomorrow so or the honeymoon tomorrow so you know you know, you know what you got to do okay so now that this has had ample time to dry uh so i in my expert opinion i came up with it is time to attach both of these together here. So let's go ahead and use these. These are going to be really nice because these are going to be very, very hard to get into the right position where uh, both of them are like lined up with each other. So uh, same thing again. We're going to use a gratuitous amount of glue. Oh, crap. Got a little bit extra there. And my finger's getting cemented to the... Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just... Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Should be good to go in for this. Okay. So these loop around. Make sure they're all connecting. And boom. Boom, baby. Dude, you can... Th this glue is crazy. When it makes contact, you can immediately feel it coming together. Oh, dude. That's so cool to look at. Hold on. Let, let me let me press hard for a second but okay let me switch my hands around here okay let me press hard look down the center of this thing man Whoa, where's the camera there she is oh wait dude that's like a perfect slot for the uh <laughs> for the, for the uh the actual like wooden thing to go through dude Yo, I, I know you're watching this eventually, Reagan Project. You are insanely talented, my guy. I have I have no idea how you managed to pull that off. Okay. Let's go ahead and wait for this to dry now. Okay, so I've been holding this together for about five minutes now. I think I don't wanna I don't wanna like test by pulling apart at all, but I'm pretty sure this is this is fully dried now. Um so I think we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step here, which is going to be inserting this gigantic thing into this so the hose is actually not meant for one this tall this is pretty tall but since i'm like six four i feel like i kind of want it to be the biggest it can be usually uh what he did is he sawed off this part of it and then uh, attached it down here uh, i'm not gonna do that because i'm not that crafty and uh, i kind of like it to be longer so it actually like fits how tall i am so uh this thing is completely dry completely cemented on so what we're gonna do now is we are going to this is gonna be a little bit stressful this is probably gonna be the most stressful this is not gonna be the most difficult part i think the hose is definitely gonna be more difficult than this but this is gonna be the most stressful part because i want this to go together very well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in there we're just gonna have to gravity this. I can't get the I can't get the glue all the way down there. There we go. So we're just gonna squirt some glue up in there. Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna do a little bit of glue on the sides here. <laughs> it's like that. Have you guys seen that YouTube video? The lady's like cooking or something. She's like, and two shots of vodka, and like pours for thirty minutes. That's what I feel like right now. And just a little bit of glue. Okay. All right. Maybe that's enough. Maybe not. We're going to we're going to find out. Okay. I feel like I, I think I'm almost running out of glue. Okay. So next up, oh, one more thing. Let's let's put some glue. Dude, I I actually am almost running out of glue here. Let's put some glue around the top ropes of this. One more stroke okay beautiful okay here we go before too much drips in the areas i don't need it to we're going for it straight down straight oh crap okay wait okay noah 
Be calm here. Be calm. Okay. Boom. Straight down. Don't let anything break. Oh, I, I hate putting pressure on it. I hate putting pressure on it. Come on, baby. Is, is the glue drying as I go? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. It was getting out of position a little bit. Okay. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! It worked! Okay. Um, let me just orientate it a little bit more. If at all possible. Okay. Bruh. That's incredible. That is actually incredible. Okay, I got, I got some wild glue. I need to I need to wipe this off real quick. Let's get this all cleaned off a little bit. I don't really think that through because now there's toilet paper. <laughs> you guys see you guys see that? <laughs> Dang it! I'm such an idiot. <laughs> okay, you gotta you gotta forgive me. This is my first time using like crazy glue in a long time. But dude, that looks so good. Oh my gosh! I I, I messed it up a tiny bit. Okay, so this is how it's oriented oriented at the bottom and then it comes down and it's a little bit off center but over dude overall i don't think it's gonna make much of a deal especially if you hold it like this it actually feels more natural dude oh my gosh this is so sick okay let's attach the hose okay so this is definitely gonna be the hardest part here just simply because this is i mean it's a hose it's kind of hard mani to manipulate let's just put that right in the middle okay so i think the overall plan here is that we're gonna get started on the top give it a little bit of slack I studied this in his video so many times and I'm still gonna mess it up okay so I think we wrap this tight two loops around the let's rotate it down a little bit so I have a little bit more leeway two loops around the top tight and then we take this part and we come up through the bottom and then we use the tension of the of the thing itself to hold it on there so we've got it in a good spot let's bring it around <laughs> get it back up in there bring it around to the to this spot right here oh, shoot dude this is gonna be harder than I thought this is gonna be oh no maybe maybe that'll work okay if we can get the entire thing to tighten around this and stop giving it so much slack or <laughs> this this probably looks pathetic right now Reagan project is rolling over in his sleep right now and he doesn't he he's he's he just woke up in cold sweats in the middle of the night and has no idea why but it's because I'm recording this video right now and he he knows how bad I am at freaking hoses oh my gosh okay so I think I have it tied tight enough at the top. So as long as it doesn't slide down. Okay. So as long as it doesn't move from there, let's wrap it tightly as we can wrap a freaking hose. Hoses are not very malleable substances. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to manipulate a hose around a 12 centimeter diameter rod. But my goodness, dude, I have, I'm using like, like a decent amount of strength. I was about to say all my strength, but I realized I, would, I was going to sound as pathetic as I actually am. I'm using an actual decent amount of strength here to hold this hose in place where I want it to go. But if I can get this tied off. Come on! Oh gosh, I think I did it. completed it. We've completed the flamingo pickaxe. Cue the montage. <laughs>